Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to calculate the friction moment directly. These are some general formulas which are given here. By using this you are able to calculate the friction moment of continuous beam. Okay, let's see how to calculate friction moment of continuous beam. So, this is some of the typical type of question which are asked in exam for calculating friction moment. Okay, let's solve. For calculation, we will go for stepwise manner okay for calculation of friction moment of beam consider each span separately here span a b span b c and span c d consider these th three span separately for calculating the friction moment okay now we are considering span a b as the name itself says it, fixed end moment means the end are fixed and just we have to calculate the moment at the end so it is very simple just by directly using formula what we see earlier that is mb by l square into thrice of a minus thrice of b here a equals to 2 b equals to 3 here a equals to 2 b equals to 3 so by directly putting this value in this equation we get 2.88 kN meter so this is a fixed moment from a to B as we represent here now for calculating the fixed end moment from B to A here for A equals to 3 and B equals to 2 just put this value in this equation we get 6.68 kN so this is fixed end moment from B to A as simple as you ok now consider the span 2 span 2 is BC as the name in itself says, it is a fixed end moment, means the end are fixed. And just by directly using formula what we seen earlier, we are able to calculate the fixed end moment at both the support. As here we take a negative sign. Why negative sign? Just because of due to we take on the sign convention that is all the clockwise movements are positive. And here the movement created at the support B is anti-clockwise direction, that's why we take a negative here. Okay, and the value of load is 45, L is 4 and by 12 just by directly putting this value in our cal calculator we have calculated the moment fixed moment from b to c is minus 60 kN per meter and the same formula we are using for the calculating fixed moment from b to c to b here we are not taking a negative sign because the moment produced at support b is in the direction of clockwise sense that's why we are taking a sign convention that is all this uh, clockwise movement as positive that's why we are here not not take a negative sign just putting all the value in the equation we get the 60 km per meter this is the fixed moment from c to b now moving towards the third and last span okay consider as we know consider the uh, end r fix and the, for the movement for the point load not at the center is minus pab square by l square it is two load acting that's why two in these terms that is p load for this for this load this is the term p a a total b square by l square l square means the total length plus 14 into 3 means total a for this for this load a is 3 and b is 1.5 1.5 square upon 4.5 square total here negative sign because the moment created at c is anti-clockwise direction that's why negative so here m f c b is minus 14 kN and the similar procedure was used for calculating the fixed end moment from b to c here we are not taking a positive sign because the moment calculated here is in the direction of clockwise sense ok so this is the formula just use this formula for the two loads separately that is p a now we are going in the this, this direction ok that's why p a a, a for this load is 1.5 and b for this this load is 3 that is a p a b square by l square plus p a b square by l square but directly putting this value in our calculator we are able to get the fixed end moment from d to c is 14 kN meter is that simple as you get practiced in you are able to calculate the fixed end moment for any loading just use this formula and these are the formulas which are directly by directly by using this formula we are able to solve 
and calculate the fixed moment very easily just remember this formula thank you